I'll start with a brief demonstration in a Windows XP 2007 environment so you can see how the Swimlane timeline works with Visio 2003 and 2007. And then for the rest of the demo, I'll switch over to a Windows 7 2010 environment so you can see the new Swimlane timeline ribbon user interface. You know, one of the keys of working with the Swimlane timeline is the ability to filter tasks and group tasks within Swimlanes. These features allow users to generate a view of their schedules showing multi-dimensional information. Let me show you what I mean. I've currently got Project 2007 open with a schedule that utilizes a number of custom task fields. I'll right click on a task field header and open up the Customize Fields option so you can see the fields in use in this project. Notice that there's a custom flag named Company Critical, Flag 4. You know, it's important that you rename these custom fields so a meaningful name is shown in the swim lane timeline. Otherwise, you'll just see the default project field names like Flag 4. There are also custom text fields in this project like Functional Area, Text 4, and Phase, Text 3. In addition, there's a special custom text field in this project that the swim lane timeline looks for to display task nicknames called Visibility Short Name, in this case, Text 2. The swim lane timeline also reads in custom task date fields. You can see that date 4 has been renamed to be gate review and a few of the project tasks have a gate review date associated with them. The swim lane timeline allows users to show date markers based on custom task date fields. The other thing I want to show you in this project is the top outline level view. Let me switch from showing all subtasks to just showing outline level 1 the project row zero name becomes the swim lane timeline title. The summary tasks become the swim lanes and the milestones that are at the same outline level as the summary tasks are placed in a special swim lane called the high level milestone swim lane. There are a number of ways that you can start the swim lane timeline. In project 2003 and 2007 you'll find the create swim lane timeline options added to the Tools menu. So without leaving Project, you can create a swim lane timeline report. Notice you can create a swim lane timeline from either the current active project or from all open projects if you want to create a portfolio view. Let's create a swim lane timeline from this single active project. The swim lane timeline is now reading in all the project tasks and in addition it's reading in any associated custom task fields including text fields, date fields, number fields, cost fields. In project server environments the swim lane timeline also reads in custom enterprise task entity fields too. So here's our default swim lane timeline view. Notice that in version 5.7 we now have three swim lane timeline menus. The swim lane timeline menu contains core functionality that is used most often. The add show menu provides features to add and show additional information on your swim lane timelines. And the manage menu includes options that allow you to create custom styles and filters or set a company logo. If you remember, there was a custom task flag in the project that indicated which tasks were deemed company critical. So if my project contains 10,000 tasks and I only wanted to report on the status of 100 key tasks, then I can set the flag for just those tasks and the swim lane timeline allows you to filter on that task flag like this. The filter by option can filter on standard project fields like milestone, summary, and critical tasks and it can also filter by custom flags, text, dates and numbers. In fact, the swim lane timeline actually has two types of filtering. The filter by option that I just showed you is based on yes, no, true, false, or simply non-empty fields. But there's also a more powerful custom named filter option that allows you to filter by value. 
For example, only show tasks where company critical is true and functional area equals design or develop. The swim lane timeline uses layout algorithms that avoid task and text collisions. Using the default task long names for tasks may force the swim lane timeline layout to be more spread out than necessary. Uh, users may be able to further compress their swim lane timelines by applying the task nicknames. Let's take a look at that. Remember the visibility short name field in the project schedule? Let's apply those nicknames to all tasks by selecting the use short name custom field in the add show menu. Notice that the layout has now tightened up since many of the long name text collisions no longer occur. Now let's regroup the tasks by their functional area so all tasks with a functional area value of design are shown in the design swim lane. All tasks with a functional area value of develop are shown in the develop swim lane, etc. Perhaps you may want to group tasks by some other important task field for your organization like funding source, planning status, investment objective. You know, we're currently seeing by default just two outline levels deep in our project schedule. But since we have a company critical filter applied, let's change to see all outline levels deep. So throughout our entire project, we'll just see uh, those tasks that are uh, deemed company critical. Now let's show task dependencies by using the Show Dependency Connectors option in the Add Show menu. I'll use the new Select Timeline Rows option in the Swim Lane Timeline menu to customize the timeline to show just the year and month time intervals. Finally, I'll use the Enhanced Task Height option to switch to using Tall Tasks to give my swim lane timeline more of a 4-3 landscape view. Now, if this were a swim lane timeline view that I wanted to reapply to other projects, I can quickly create a reusable one-click style. From the swim lane timeline manage menu, I'll choose named styles and save, and then enter the style name of demo1 single project. Finally, let's share the diagram in a PowerPoint slide using the Send to PowerPoint option. Well, that's a brief example of the swim lane timeline in a Windows XP 2007 environment. And now I'm going to switch over to my Windows 7 2010 environment for the remainder of the demonstration. The Swim Lane Timeline supports 2010 Visio Project and Office in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Here we are in my Windows 7 environment with Project 2010 open with the same example project that we used in the previous 2007 uh, demonstration. Notice that there's a Visibility Ribbon tab created in Project 2010 containing the Create Swim Lane Timeline options. In some 2010 swim lane timeline installations, these commands can be found in the Project 2010 Add-ins ribbon tab. Let's create a swim lane timeline by selecting Create from Active Project. This option fires up the swim lane timeline Visio add-on that then reads in all the project tasks and task fields. Notice that the resultant swim lane timeline view in Visio 2010 looks exactly the same as it did in the previous Visio 2007 demonstration. One of the main differences in uh, the Visio 2010 environment is the ability to use ribbons uh, for the user interface. The swim lane timeline main ribbon contains the most often used core features like filter, group, sort, style and refresh. The Swim Lane Timeline Add Show ribbon includes options to enhance your Swim Lane Timeline diagrams like show task dependencies, show short names, and show the resource view. 
Finally, there's the Swim Lane Timeline Manage ribbon that includes options for creating custom named styles, custom filters, and allows users to change the Swim Lane Timeline Diagram logo, for example. You may also notice that the three Visio 2010 Swim Lane Timeline ribbons closely match the three Swim Lane Timeline menus in the 2003 and 2007 environments. The swim lane timeline user interface consistency between environments makes it a lot easier for users to migrate to newer versions of Visio Project and Office. Now, with just one click, I'll apply the swim lane timeline style that we created in the previous 2007 demo. If you recall, this style performs many actions. It applies the company critical field filter. It shows tasks for all outline levels in the project. It applies task short names read in from the project. It groups tasks by their functional area field value. It shows dependency connectors, changes the timeline rows to be years and months, and changes the task height to be the tall size. As you can see, swim lane timeline styles can save users a ton of time. Now we need only click on the PowerPoint option and select single page to send this page to PowerPoint. So in just a couple of mouse clicks, we are ready for our project status presentation with an up-to-date swim lane timeline diagram. In all, the whole process took about 30 seconds. So far, I focused the demonstrations today on single project schedule reporting. Now let's take a look at working with multiple projects and generating a cross-project swim lane timeline portfolio view.